Hello all, today's topic is diesel engine. Introduction, uh, this diesel engine is invented by a German engineer called as Rudolf Diesel who was not satisfied with the low efficiency of the auto engine um, which is petrol engine and he tried to produce another engine another engine which is more efficient than the petrol engine so he end up with inventing this engine for which he named diesel engine his own name the diesel engine works by compression ignition hence it is also known as compression ignition engine is a internal combustion engine the fuel that has been injected into the combustion chamber by means of injector. It has the highest thermal efficiency due to its very high compression ratio. Compared to the petrol engine, auto engine, the diesel has highest compression ratio due to which it has got high efficiency. So, let us study the working of diesel engine by four processes that is four strokes it is a four stroke diesel engine first stroke or the first step is intake or suction stroke in this first stroke of diesel engine we can see the diagram here the right side blue valve represents intake valve through which the fresh air will be entered into the chamber. So, when the fresh air is entered into the chamber, the piston starts to move downwards. So, when the piston moves downwards, the chamber will be filled with the fresh air. The position of the piston is represented by TDC to BDC that means when the piston is in the upward position it is called as top dead center and when the piston moves downwards and it reaches to the bottom that is called as bottom dead center. When the piston reaches the BDC or bottom dead center the chamber is filled with a fresh air. The fresh air containing no fuel is sucked into the cylinder at constant pressure. In the intake stroke or suction stroke of a diesel engine, in the beginning only air will be admitted into the chamber. Make a note, whereas in auto engine in the be beginning, in the intake stroke itself, fuel as well as air will be admitted into the chamber, cylinder. Whereas in a diesel engine only air is admitted into the chamber that is because only air can be compressed into a higher compression ratio whereas if it is mixed with any fuel such a high compression ratio is unable to achieve. That is why here diesel uh, made use of this concept of uh, compressing the fuel compressing the working substance to a higher ratio. So, he did not introduce the fuel in the beginning itself. So, only air will be admitted into the chamber in the first stroke. The next step or the next stroke is compression stroke during which both the valves will be closed. After the completion of intaking of air, the intake wall will be closed. So, due to which the piston moves upwards. So, during the motion of the piston towards TDC or top dead center, the air will be compressed. The air is made to compress inside the chamber by moving the piston upwards. So, that can be into a ratio of 17 is to 1. If the initial volume is 1, then its 17th volume up to 17th volume, the piston can be compressed. So, that much higher ratio 
could be achieved only in diesel engine not in petrol engine compressing the air to this extent increases the temperature inside the cylinder to above 1000 degrees celsius and the pressure to a maximum of 35 atmospheres so due to which the air will be at very high temperature so now if instead of a spark if the fuel is injected through this chamber that will catches fire both the valves stay closed during the third stroke that is power stroke please note that at the end of the second stroke that is compression stroke the fuel will be injected into the chamber which causes the temperature of the chamber to rise into 2000 degrees celsius uh, just by compressing the air it reaches to 1000 degrees celsius whereas by injecting the fuel that is by sprinkling the uh, diesel vapors that catches fire and reaches to a temperature of 2000 degrees celsius when the piston is at the end of compression stroke the injector sprays a mist of diesel fuel into the cylinder when hot air mixes with the diesel fuel in the explosion diesel fuel an explosion takes place in the cylinder as the temperature in the cylinder is much above the ignition point so due to this combustion the temperature rises to above about 2000 degree celsius and at this stage the oil supply will be cut off so by reaching this stage the oil supply into the chamber will be stopped and that during that time the combustion has already started so that heat pushes the piston downwards so now the piston which is in the top dead center move towards bdc that is bottom dead center that is called as power stroke power stroke is the third stage which starts at the end of compression stroke uh, after spraying the mist of diesel th that chamber catches fire due to which high pressure and temperature produces and that pushes the piston downwards that is called as power stroke so the last step is exhaust stroke after completion of the combustion the chamber is left with burnt fuels and that has to be scavenged out of the chamber for which the exhaust valve which is in the left corner that will be opened so that burnt fuel will be scavenged out of the chamber the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center so in order to continue the stop piston should move upwards at the end of the power stroke the piston will be in the bottom so when that piston in the bdc move towards tdc the burnt out gases will be scavenged out of the chamber so during this time intake valve remains closed and exhaust valve opens and the useless spent up gas will be forced out of the chamber the machine then becomes ready for the next cycle we can study the entire process using this indicator diagram uh, in this indicator diagram this o a represents the first stroke that is intake stroke during which the fresh air will be admitted into the chamber and a b represents the compression stroke the air will be compressed into a thousand degree celsius and at the stage b the fuel injector sprays diesel and due to which that catches fire and combustion takes place due to combustion the the temperature rises to 2000 degree celsius that is shown uh, the by the curve bc and from c to d the piston is pushed towards uh, bottom of the chamber bdc uh, that is called as a power stroke or expansion stroke during which the engine does work 
So, this CD curve represents the expansion stroke and DA curve represents the exhaust stroke through which uh, the spent up gases will be forced out of the chamber. So, entire working of a diesel engine can be represented by means of a pressure volume PV diagram like this. This is about the working of diesel engine. Thank you.